It's zombie time! Yee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! I'm over here at the Metro Kingdom because I was told a while back to go... Or I should say, why didn't I <laughs> go and see what the poop is at the 1UP location at the 8-Bit Movie Theater dealio over here. So I was like, oh yeah! I forgot about that! So let's -a go. Yes, yes, I know, I know. <laughs> so, alright, we're in! Look at this zombie Mario with this. <laughs> anyway, so after the fourth pipe, there is this little hill, and. Ah, it's a health upgrade! I see, I see! So they did put it in here after all, but. It does not help you if you fall to your doom. But you know what would help you if you were to fall to your doom? Assist mode. Oh wait, actually, I forgot how to... Wait, how did I switch to assist mode from here? Oh no, wait, 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 it was the options. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I, I start from the previous save point. Oh man, I wanted to go back to the 8-bit dealio to show you that health upgrade and whatnot. Well, I guess I can just do it with a cut and whatnot. Alright, we made it back. So the first thing you're going to notice on assist mode is that you have 6 health instead of the regular 3. Makes things a smidge easier in that regard. And now, since I know that this is here, I can show you something else. You can get up to nine health, and if you fall down pits, you only lose a little bit of your health, but you're immediately bubbled, and you're popped back over to your good old place that you were before when you jumped in. Isn't that nice and handy? <laughs> that was another thing that I was waiting for. Is that if you're waiting around, your health will immediately, well not immediately, but it kind of just like gradually gets back over to its good self if you're just in a safe position and yeah, like if I just wait around here and just have a good time, just saying hello to everyone. By the way, you can also jump by flicking the Joy-Con upwards, I forgot to mention that before as well. But yeah, I'll just stand in place for a little bit. There we go! Maximum health once again! Actually, I should probably take two hits just to see uh, how long it takes to do that. Anyways, I'll just like boop! And then we'll also get little boop! I say a boop! Okay, there we go. Now I'll just, I'll just stand up here where it's nice and safe. Yeah, okay, it just happens all at once. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so I guess we are good to go in this regard. Speaking of the Metro Kingdom, I was replaying the entire game, well, up to this point at least, to get ourselves a little bit of dialogue over at Ye Ol Shop. Remember that I said that I kind of regretted not going in the shop? Well... Look at me now! I am back! <laughs> it's like we went back in time! Only it's, you know, it's another save file. But anyway, so yeah, there is actually different dialogue here, and I really, so I really should have. I'm hiding in here until it's over! What in the world is going on outside? Welcome to our little shop. There's basically two kinds of coins. Gold coins and purple coins. The, uh, the, I'm, I was going to mention too, there's uh, each... Like, the first time that you check into shops, regardless of what shop it is, you'll get the intro dialogue for the coins and whatnot. So I thought that was a interesting little tidbit as well. I've even got some little footage from that at the Wooded Kingdom, which I'll show you a bit later on. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and... Okay, no new dialogue there. What you got to say here? How long will we be stuck in here? As long as you want to. You could walk out any time, if you dare. I guess there's nothing to do but wait. No, you could go battle them. You could, I, I have faith in you. You can do it! Alright, it's time to go over to the Wooded Kingdom now, and here's something that I didn't show before either, I do believe, is that if you select the same kingdom that you're already in, you'll get a message from Cappy. 
That's where we are now! I need you to choose where we're going! Okay, okay, so we're going over to the Wooded Kingdom to show some stuff. Let's go! And load, please. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. And skip the cutscene to boot. Go, 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 go. Okay. <laughs> what I'm going to do is warp on over to here, I think it is. I think. I, I don't necessarily need to show anything that I haven't already done already, but that's exactly the thing. I uh, got a comment about the secret that was in here, and I didn't really see it in time. Yeah, I was mentioning that it was behind the starts. I am shamed. First shop dialogue at the Wooded Kingdom as long as we're here. I had to slow that down a little bit as I was mashing buttons. On another playback, because I flubbed something over here, I found that if you did the shortcut jump, over at the Lake Kingdom, there's actually a little bit of dialogue, and the first time that I came through that, uh, came to that, I, w I wasn't recording at the time, and I was like, oh, no, 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 okay, now I'll, I'll just restart the console, and then we'll come back over to the Lake Kingdom, and then I'll be able to record it. Nope, it didn't show again, so I had to replay the sucker, because it, like, auto-saved or something the first time that I seen the dialogue. I was like, what? Why did it do that? Why would you do... How could you do that to me? How could you do that to me? So anyway, so I replayed the game all over again <laughs> to get back over to here. Between replaying up to the Metro Kingdom, just to do this one jump on camera. Wow, great jump! Thank you. Thank you. I I replayed way too much just for that little smidge of dialogue. Alright, we're back on our regular save file again here. And I don't think I showed this. When you get all the outfits, see the 55, you get a little star by your dealio over there and, and on your save file. So that is pretty nice, I've gotta say. Alright, now we're gonna head on over to the Ruined Kingdom. Because I didn't really show this dealio before... well, I mean, yeah, yes, I showed the Ruin Kingdom before, but I, I did not show the in-game camera with all of its filters and stuff like that, and I thought, because this place has got a super picturesque background the area here, I'll just kind of press it down on the D-pad and look at that, you can pan around, see that move, you can rotate, and so basically you can get the shot that you're looking for. Okay, well, in this case, I'm kind of, the balloon is kind of getting in my way, so maybe I'll uh, cancel that and I'll just go, there we go, that's a much fancier shot of the area, and then what you could do is go ahead and take your pictures and it'll go over to the message board, but you know, I didn't really show the whole filter dealio here. You got that left and right. So you got CBA, black and white, sharpen. Sh wait, sharpen? It certainly looks blurrier there. I think it's the focal point. I know, I know. <laughs> Smear like it's coming from the center point. You got, you got all the fish eyes. Hyper colors. Silhouettes, oh man. Oh yeah, you can also tilt the, the whole thing as well if you want to get really dynamic with your dealio. And yes, illustration, you know, like a sketch. Basically oil painting complete with canvas texture and stuff like that. Pencil sketch. That is definitely, definitely soft pencil. <laughs> <laughs> I should actually probably rotate that. Otherwise, you know, it's leading tower of Pisa line drawing. Actually, that's that that's more closer to a sketch anyway. <laughs> NES time. Yes, low res, 8-bit goodness. Game Boy, complete with P green SNES with your 32 colors. Coin. Coin. Yeah, you can make your own coins basically. <laughs> Neon, well that doesn't really show much in this particular area, but <laughs> it's like neon outlines of things in manga time. Tile, yeah, there's a ton, ton of filters here. You know, if you think about it, the tile could also be 8-bit-ish. 
as well, if you think about it. But anyway, kaleidoscope. Go ahead and zoom in and out. Ooh, ooh, up and down on the right analog stick, by the way. Ooh, or, you know, rotate. Ooh, to choose your own, well, the destiny, I guess you could say. But yeah, that's, that's about it for the filters and stuff like that. So use them artistically and beautifully. And uh, the other thing is, I wanted to, uh, whoops, no, I wanted to, it's hold right on there, yeah, to do Amiibo. Uh, I, I didn't really show, like, the random rewards, I think, in full. I think you can only get, like, two or three things out of this. But, yeah, uh, I have a Yarn Yoshi Amiibo, and I have a cereal box, Super Mario cereal, which also acts as an Amiibo. The Yarn Yoshi that I'm going to press right over here is a, uh, uh, it, it, it registers as a Yoshi, just like a regular Yoshi, not like any special Yoshi or something like that. I'm just gonna touch it a bunch of times here and see what I can get out of it. Hmm, two coins, three coins, three coins, two coins, there's a heart. Uh, just keep touching to see how things go here. Yeah, okay, maybe I, maybe I came across all the rewards already because it was two coins, three coins, and a heart. Remember, I said I think it was three or three rewards max. But I am going to now touch the cereal box to it and uh, see what I can get. It's probably just going to be the same things overall. I'm pretty sure it is. There's a one, a two coin, a three coin, and we just need probably a heart. Nope, not getting any hearts today. No, no, no. No hearts for me, I say. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so, there you go with the Amiibo rewards. Well, I should say the random Amiibo awards that you get when you just tap an Amiibo anywhere. You've seen the other uses for the Amiibo with Uncle Amiibo to get hints and whatnot, but, you know, I already showed that. Alright, let's go over to the darker side of the moon and check out the brochure over there. I don't remember what was actually in this. So... It's going to be a surprise to both of us. <laughs> Unless I remember stuff as I go. Alright. Darker side. Even more. Remote region. Cumula Crater. Every traveler's final stop. Population unknown. It's all visitors. Size unknown. It's all internal. Locals. Rabbit-ish. Were there any rabbits here? I... Sort of? Because they're nearby? Currency? Definitely no special purple coins in this tree. I, I guess it's just the tourist who can never get the moon without dying. Maybe. And no one's done it. Until Mario came along. Hence why it was unknown. Temperature? Unknown. Oh man. Okay, I'll just be nude. Just... just Leave it at that. One serious crater. When things collide, holes are made. <laughs> the giant crater was formed by a huge meteor collision long ago. The impact destroyed the civilization that flourished on the moon, which is how Cumula Crater came to be. The crater itself is so massive, you cannot see the bottom. Space. It's really pretty. Ooh. Seeing the bright side. From here, you can observe galaxies shining in ways you never could from home. Cumulot Crater features vistas entirely unique from those you can find on the dark side of the moon and Honeyloon Ridge. Yeah, you've probably seen those as I was panning the camera around as I was climbing up the big spire at the end of the tip top of the building, I should say. Anyway, if you're feeling down or disheartened, just take a look up at the Milky Way from here. You can see each star twinkle as they nestle close to one another. It will all be okay. You are not alone. You can make it to the end without dying, I assure you. Moon Mysteries! When you look up inside the caverns, you see many deposits that look like the cubic moon rocks. Were the rocks that fell planet side originally formed here? Perhaps. Perhaps. A bewildering building. <laughs> this colossal building stands in Cumula Crater. If you look closely, it seems to resemble the city hall in New Donk City, only with a much, much, much larger peak to it. Some think it's based on New Donk City Hall. According to researchers, it might be one of the last remnants of a civilization that once flourished on the moon. But with little evidence, this theory lacks credibility. Here, Jill. A copy? Who knows? 
Jesus. Lone pipe in a crater. <laughs> this is the only pipe that connects to the lunar interior. If you find it, we don't recommend jumping right in. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Unless you're really well practiced. What, how, well, I should say, really well versed in your controls, I should say. What awaits is a trial so harsh, it lives up to the name Cumula Crater. Of course, if you have the confidence of a traveler who has done everything else in the world has to offer, give it a shot, which I did. Overcome this and adventures the world over will sing your praises. It just sits there, taunting you to jump in. <laughs> Inside the moon, a lava zone spreads throughout this giant cavern. What waits us ahead? How far does it go? These answers await those brave enough to enter the unknown, unexplored world. Well, it can't be that unexplored, because there's other critters there. The on only known photo of the interior. It's just right by the beginning. <laughs> it just, just went, went down the pipe. It's like, nope. Went back out. Three keys to the kingdom. See the mysterious building that so closely resembles New Donk City Hall. Reach the far recesses of the giant cavern where none dare tread. Test your skills as a hardened tourist one last time. Encouraged by the crazy cap shop, don't sue us. Whew! That was the last brochure! This is definitely something I wanted to include. See, uh, Bowser's got different dialogue, depending on what you're wearing, as I mentioned before, but he's only got eight different dialogue dealios. And they're spread out unevenly across the different outfits that you can wear while battling Bowser. And, well, he gives the reaction before the fight, and that's basically where I put all these cuts is when Bowser flops down from the ceiling. That way you can see what I'm currently wearing with Mario. And then the corresponding dialogue, plus, you know, where you'll get the dialogue if you're wearing blah 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 blah, yeah. <laughs> you, you could see how things are going, basically. is gonna be the, the sporty dialogue, for instance. And basically, these first five are, I guess you could say, quote-unquote, generic ones, because they can appear with multiple outfits. It's the last three that are the unique ones, and, you know, they'll be coming up soon enough. I decided to use Luigi's outfit with this song because I thought it would be funny for this generic dialogue. It looks familiar, but I can't place it! <laughs> it's like you forgot Luigi. And this one, well, you get this, like, if you're wearing the zombie and all sorts, like, gold ones, like, anything that makes Mario look freaky. Except in this case, I wouldn't say it's <laughs> it's freaky, but Bowser gets a little scared. <laughs> All right, now for the the unique ones, we got Bowser's wedding outfit here. Though you know it's a it's a little bit shrunk in size in comparison to Bowser's over there. <laughs> just just a little bit. It's like great outfit, very classy. <laughs> and needless to say, Mario is never ever invited, no matter what he's wearing, even if he's wearing Peach's wedding dress right here. <laughs> Bowser's reaction to this one is amazing. I mean, literally amazing. Listen, you look amazing, love the outfit, <laughs> but he's still not invited. And this is if you're wearing the invisible cap. Can't forget about the invisible cap, right? Right? Right. <laughs> I mean, it, it may be nothing there, but don't forget about it anyway. <laughs> it's like, huh? Where'd you go? Not invited again. I thought this was really cool to include as well, as I don't think I showed this dodge before. Basically, on this boss, you can stand right in between the hands and you'll be safe. I feel I should give a couple closing thoughts regarding playing in VR, because I think some people got the wrong idea, is that it's it's not horrible. What I was saying was horrible was that it was horrible recording it that way for, for not only me, but also the viewer. It's a lot... like, it would play a whole lot better if I was actually just playing it normally, like either through the VR headset, which actually would probably cause me dizziness, but, <laughs> but if I was just holding up the gamepad to my face, that would 
be a more ideal way because I, I had a more free range of motion with my arms and you know looking down and up and stuff like that I'd be able to follow the trails and stuff like that so it's not really a bad concept or anything like that it's just it's not recording friendly <laughs> I mean it's you know it's collect stuff it's Mario, you know, get the notes, get the coins, stuff like that. So yeah, not it's not bad, but it's hard to record. <laughs> All right, now let's go and head head over to the Mushroom Kingdom. We have made it to the Mushroom Kingdom, and since I have not shown all the outfits yet, there's only one thing left to do: fashion show. Let's start with the topper outfit, which is completely and unequivocally accurate to Topper's usual wardrobe. The colors are accurate. It even has bunny feet, tail and ears attached. But be careful of the spikes, they, they weren't quite dulled down. Uh, it's still worth getting though, I assure you. Anyway, Rango's up next, and his country ensemble is magnificent with its floppy ears. Country hat to keep the sun out of everything, as it covers so, so much, as it's so, so big. And it of course has the bunny details, like the other ones, but also suspenders. Suspenders are back in. Now for Harriet, as you can see, she has an explosive outfit. <laughs> Actually, we removed the explosives, it was a safety hazard, and they would, we would have gotten sued. But it also comes in her accurate colors. And not to mention a flowing blonde ponytail that flaps when you throw it. And speaking of flowing, we have Spewart's incredible hair that you can see at any angle, just like Ludwig's. And of course, bunny feet, hands, tail, blue color. Yep, it's Spewart, all in a nutshell, or so should I say, carrot shell. Oh, 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 that doesn't make any sense, does it? No. No, it doesn't. Anyway, go, go to the next one. Go to the next one. Metal Mario. Shiny is in this season, and it shows as Mario is donning complete and total shininess. I am not sure how they managed to make this, nor am I sure how he can see, but I can tell you that he looks fabulous. So don't forget to throw your head around for extra sparkle and gleam! Oh man, now it's Santa time! He's gonna be ho ho hoing it up to get those ho ho ho- I mean, I, I mean... Deliver those presents to the kids! With his incredibly fluffy, weather resistant, although only for the cold, snowy white trim hat being thrown everywhere oh jeez why isn't he wearing clothes here cut well really you know this there's, there's more than one thing that I have left to do because you see I've been sitting on 998 moons I only need to buy one more moon to take that counter well it's gonna cost the star to take that counter up to 999 let's -a go Yes! We have done it! We have done it! But what happens if we put this final moon in the moon god with the big ol' 998? Let's find out, shall we? Oh, it turned back into a moon. Good. <laughs> yes! Yes! We've collected, let's see, 999 Power Moon Power Moons. Wow, that's amazing! Oh, and that reminds me, there's a surprise waiting for you. Let's head to Peach's Castle. Hmm? There is now a big, <laughs> a big hat hanging out on top of the castle. <laughs> yes! Yes! Hello guys, how's it going? Look, 
Princess Peach! Princess Peach is back! And guess what? Turns out she went- Oh, that's the same dialogues before. <laughs> I'm gonna go over... Do this if I can. Oh! <clears throat> I was gonna say go over and see if Peach has anything to say about this. Just, come on, we can do this. <sighs> Billy, I'm not meant to be a speedrunner! <laughs> oh, come on! I wonder if I could do it like this. Oh, well, hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh, ooh, that actually does have potential. Look at that! Yeah, you go on this little, little higher ridge here. <laughs> you go, oh, ooh, ooh. I was, I'm trying to wall, dang it, I'm trying to wall kick off that uh, little flower planter edge there, if at all possible. Let's just see if I can, ooh, ooh, oh, oh, I hit the edge, real, mm. I mean the under edge, I should say, not the, the edge I wanted to hit. I'll, I'll do try it a little bit further back. There we go, there we go. Okay, it's not, not really any, any new dialogue, alas. Alas. Alright, let's go inside the castle. Nope! Nothing new in there! So let's just go on top of the castle now and give that hat a visit. Ah, I've mastered it! <laughs> okay, I've, I have not mastered it. <laughs> just, just giving myself more credit than I probably have done. Anyway, let's go. Oh, no, 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 I want to go up to the hat because we get a little bit of something special. Should probably climb this a little bit. Since they climb it a little bit fast there, but no. No, I'm just gonna mess up when I get to the tippy top. Alright. And we. Wait, what? You can't. I thought you could get. Or is that right pressed up against the edge or something? Because if so, I'm gonna have to go like this. Is it right up against the... I guess it is. Alright. Here we go. One hundred percent completion. Yes! We have done it! We have done it! I told you we'd get there, and we got there. Woo! <laughs> got another little fun fact for you as well. Now, remember that I bought a whole load of moons over at the, um... Uh, Snow Kingdom? Well, um, if you go to your lists, I bought over a hundred moons, but it'll only show up to 99 on there. Ah, so I guess you could say technically we aren't 100%ed because you could get 98 more moons on every shop if you really wanted to, but you don't get anything if you do that, so I really wouldn't recommend it because it's all grinding and that would be really, really horrible. <laughs> but yeah, um, like if I go to go over to the uh, Mushroom Kingdom, because I bought two moons from the shop, one for the sake of 100%ing and then one for to finish off the Odyssey, which I could have got anywhere, it shows as two. Um, now, if you're curious, as to what would happen if I were to put more moons into the Odyssey at this point. What do you say I buy 10 of these bad boys here and then plop them into the Odyssey? So you think that the uh, counter would go from 999 to 1009, right? Just keeps on going up until you have maxed out all the moons that you've collected of all time, right? You know, that, like the shops and stuff like that. Well, no. <laughs> we've reached maximum size for quite a while now, and the counter no longer goes up any higher than that. So, really, I, d I don't even think the designers beyond the getting 999 moons there, the designers thought 
people that get all the moons at, you know, maxing out at the shops and stuff like that, they're like, yeah, 999 is good enough. <laughs> so, if you want to grind, you can do that on your own time. But for now, I am going to end off this walkthrough here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next walkthrough. This was an amazing time. I really loved making this, and I really loved this game. And Yep, hope I see you in the next walkthrough as well.